Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. In this video, we go to see that IUPAC naming of a different coordination compound AGNH3 twice AGCN2. To write that IUPAC name, certain rules are there. We need to follow the rules. As per the rules, the cation is named first. The ligands are named in alphabetical order. Names of the anionic ligands ends in O. Oxidation state of the metal in cation, anion or neutral entity is indicated by Roman numeral in parentheses. If the complex ion is a cation, the metal is named the same as the element. If the complex ion is an anion, the name of the metal ends with the suffix ATE. Now let us see our compound AgNH3 twice AgCN2. So here we do not have that a simple cation. So here it is present as a both the complex like a cationic complex and anionic complex. But which one is cationic complex and which one is the anionic complex? It is difficult to find out, right? So, first, but we can find that coordination number. Here, the silver in both the complex also, we have that silver as a central ion. Silver is attached here with 2 NH3 group. So, that coordination number is 2. The same way here, the silver is attached to 2 CN group, cyano group. So, Coordination number is also 2. So, it means that uh, silver is present in the same oxidation state in both the complex. So, now we go to first to find out that uh, oxidation state of the central ion. So, let us keep the silver as X. So, X plus NH3 is a neutral ligand. So, 0. So, 2 into 0. Again, AG X. Then, CN group carries minus 1 charge because it is an anionic ligand. So, 2 into minus 1. So, it is a neutral compound. So, is equal to 0. So, let us add x plus x to x plus minus 2 because 2 into 0, 0 is equal to 0. So, 2x is equal to when you bring that minus 2 this side then plus 2. So, x is equal to 2 by 2 plus 1. It means silver is in plus 1 oxidation state in both the coordination entity. So, now we go to find out that the net charge carried by that complex entity, then only we can find out that which one is the cationic or anionic complex. So, for that, look at this AgNH3 twice. Here, silver is in plus 1 oxidation state, NH3 groups is a neutral ligand. So, 2 into 0. So, plus 1. It means that it is a cationic complex. Then for AgCN2, again Ag is in plus 1 oxidation state. It's 2 into minus 1 because this carries minus 1 charge minus 1. So, it means it is an anionic complex. So, we got that which one is anion and which one is cationic complex. Using this information, so let us find out that for the first one, it is cationic complex. So, as per the rule, first we go to write that cationic complex ion. Then the second one is anionic complex ion. Anionic complex ion. So, the charge carried by that anionic complex ion minus 1 charge and this one carries plus 1 charge. So, we go to write first diamine because there are two NH3 group is present. So, di prefix is used. Then silver, Ag, silver and its oxidation state is 1. For the anionic complex, again we go to start that dicyanido because it is an anionic complex, uh, sorry ligand. So, that O should be used to dicyanido. Then instead of the silver, we go to use argentate. It is a Latin name, Argentate 1. So, di, I mean silver 1, dicyanido Argentate 1 is the IUPAC naming of this compound. Thanks for watching.